Rust lagging like crazy. Watch this. I'll show you the best potato graphics settings to boost FPS instantly, even on a low-end PC. Frustrated with lag and high ping? Gear Up Booster can fix it instantly. Check the download link in the description and get smooth lag-free gameplay in seconds. Step 1. Advanced System Settings in Windows to access Advanced System Settings in Windows. Start by clicking the Start button or pressing the Windows key. In the search bar, type View Advanced System Settings and press Enter. This will open the System Properties window directly on the Advanced tab. From here, click on the Settings button under the Performance section. In the Performance Options window, select Adjust for Best Performance to disable unnecessary visual effects and improve system performance. Click Apply and OK to save the changes. If you're gaming, you can show a before and after comparison. Record your gameplay and FPS counter before applying the settings, and then again after. You'll notice smoother performance and higher FPS, especially on low-end systems. Step 2. Add Rust Launch commands to enable potato graphics in Rust using Steam Launch options. Start by opening your Steam library. Locate Rust, right-click it, and select Properties. In the window that appears under the General tab, you'll see a field labeled Launch Options. This is where you can enter performance-enhancing commands that apply every time you launch the game dot in the Launch Options field. Paste the following line. Asterisk, asterisk. These commands work together to reduce graphical load. Lower resolution and allocate memory more efficiently ideal for low-end systems or players who want maximum FPS. Step 3. Disable full screen optimization to disable full screen optimization for Rust through Steam. First, open your Steam library. Right click on Rust, then select Manage and click Browse Local Files. This opens the Rust installation folder. Locate rust.exe or rustclient.exe, depending on version, then right click it and choose Properties. In the Properties window, go to the Compatibility tab. Now, check the box that says Disable Full Screen Optimizations, then click Apply and OK to save. This small tweak can reduce input lag and improve performance in some cases. For better presentation, show gameplay before the change, possibly with slight stutters or input delay. Then, after applying the setting, show smoother and more responsive gameplay. Step 4. How to use a CPU Unpark tool. You can download this tool quickly from the website link provided in the description and start optimizing your PC right away. Open the CPU Unparking tool and check your current core parking status. If some CPU cores are shown as parked, that means they're inactive and not being used during performance heavy tasks. To unpark them, move both core parking sliders to 100% unparked or use the unpark all option if available. Once done, click Apply to save the changes. For best results, pair this with a high performance or ultimate performance power plan. This helps keep all CPU cores active, reducing stutter, and improving overall responsiveness in CPU intensive games. You can show a before and after comparison using gameplay or CPU usage graphs to highlight the performance gains. Step 5. Use NVIDIA Profile Inspector for Rust Potato Graphics. You can download this tool quickly from the website link provided in the description and start optimizing your PC right away so once you launch NVIDIA Profile Inspector. Don't worry about any EAC bands, it's completely safe to use. It simply gives you more advanced control over your graphics settings. At the top left, under Profiles, type in Rust and select it from the list. Before making any changes, it's a good idea to take screenshots of your current settings, sections 1 to 3, and 4 to 6, so you can revert them if needed. Now you can start customizing. I'll be offering three profiles, lowest, medium, and best, all focused on maximizing FPS. Even the best preset still keeps the graphics fairly low while delivering strong performance. So feel free to skip straight to that one if you prefer. For the lowest settings, Go to the anti-aliasing transparency super sampling option under section 3 and change it to a underscore mode underscore replay underscore mode underscore all by default. This is usually off. 
Then scroll down to texture filtering and change both load load bias and load bias OGL to zero by O O O O O O O four five for texture filtering quality. I recommend choosing high quality instead of high performance as it makes everything look smoother and cleaner without a huge performance hit. Once all changes are done, click. Apply changes at the top right to save and activate the settings. In this step, I'm going to show you the best tool to get stable ping and smoother gameplay in any game. The tool is called Gear Up Booster, and you can download it directly from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC and launch the app. Once it opens, log in with your Google or Facebook account to access all features. On the home tab, Gear Up automatically detects the games installed on your PC. If you want, you can also explore thousands of other games for optimization in the games tab. To start boosting, go back to the home tab and select the game you want, for example, Fortnite. Just hit the boost button and the tool will instantly begin optimizing your connection. Gear Up will automatically locate the best server for you, but you can also choose a region manually. Always pick the server closest to your location for the lowest ping. In my case, the Middle East server gives the best results. After selecting your region, head to the end tab where you'll see all available servers. You can either choose the nearest one or let gear up. Automatically select the most stable option. I recommend using automatic mode for consistent performance. Finally, close the settings and launch your game directly through Gear Up Booster. That's it. This tool helps you get a more stable connection, lower ping, and even better FPS. Making your gameplay smoother and more enjoyable whether you're playing Fortnite or any other supported game. Step 6. How to use Park Control to optimize your CPU performance using Park Control. You can download this tool quickly from the website link provided in the description and start optimizing your PC right away. Start by launching the program and selecting the Bitsum highest performance power profile from the drop down menu. Then disable both CPU parking and frequency scaling. For AC and DC modes to ensure all your CPU cores stay active and run at their maximum clock speed consistently. This helps eliminate latency and boosts overall system responsiveness, especially during gaming or heavy multitasking. Once these settings are configured, click apply and make sure the power profile is set as active. For additional efficiency, enable the Bitsum Dynamic Boost option, which intelligently adjusts performance without sacrificing power. These adjustments can lead to noticeably smoother performance and reduced stuttering. If possible, show a quick before and after comparison. Using Task Manager or in-game FPS to visualize the improvement. Rust lag problem solved. Try these simple tweaks and enjoy smooth gameplay. Don't forget to like for more easy FPS boosts.